Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be talking about the three steps to improve your math score to a 30 plus, specifically to a 30 plus, because if you're trying to improve your math score just generally, there are a few different things you can do just to get some general improvement. But if you're trying to go for a very high score, specifically in the 90th percentile or above, there's a few extra things that you're going to probably have to do regardless of where you're starting in order to get your score up to that near perfect score range. And we're going to be talking about those specific things and what I've seen work best for our students uh, both the students that watch our YouTube videos for free and that we tutor and see you know uh, the things that I've seen work best so we're going to talk about those things here in general the, the things that will give you a bit of a boost as a prerequisite is if you've taken at least algebra 2 you, that that's like a must if you've taken you have to have algebra 2 under your belt or some especially a geometry equivalent class in addition to that and if you've taken pre-calc that's that's even better uh, also like generally you should be okay at math and, and you know like it um, if you have those two things, then you have a very good chance at scoring very well on the math test. But if not, then I would then you can still shoot for it. It's just going to be a little bit harder, at least a little bit harder for you. Now, let's get into the three steps because I've been like been talking for a minute now. So let's get into it. So the three steps. The first one is you need to get familiar with skills, all the skills, regardless of if you're if you feel pretty good about the math skills or if you don't. You need to get familiar with the question types, the skills, everything, every question that you come across, every question that you can potentially look at, because you're gonna you if if you're trying to score this high on the math test, you have to be ready for anything, and you have to your error is basically if you're trying to get like a 30. Let's just say your score, your target is a 30. I I don't remember the exact number, but you can't get more than like five to ten questions right or something like that out of the 60. So you have to be near perfect, and in order to be near perfect, you need to be near perfect on the skills and your understanding of those things. So how exactly do you understand skills? There's a couple things that I recommend you do. First and foremost, take a practice exam maybe two, just to get a feel for where you're at and what skill, what potential questions or what questions you're struggling with. Once you take the practice exam, look at the questions that you got wrong. If you've already practiced, if you've already looked at your exams and you're feeling kind of stuck, make sure you look at those exams and try to see what you're doing wrong. So look over your exams and see what exactly you got wrong in those questions that were uh, you know, incorrect and try to understand them. If you can't understand them, then that's where we have another resource that I'm going to mention. But first and foremost, just try to go over them. Try to understand what you did wrong at least try to learn what the correct answer is and why it's correct. The procedure behind it, whatever it is, okay? So try to learn. That's the first and foremost thing. Learn the skills by looking over your past practice exams. If you're someone that's already taken 12 practice exams and you haven't looked over any of those, specifically for math, and this applies for English as well, but specifically for math, if you've already taken a bunch and you haven't looked over them, that's great, look over them. Uh, I mean, it's not great that you haven't done it yet, but you know, make sure you do that because that's probably your barrier. You're not looking over stuff. If you haven't done any work yet, then it's great. You can start. You're starting fresh. This is your chance to uh, clean slate. Just, just get going. So look over your exams and look over your mistakes because that's how you're going to make improvement. All right. That's the first thing. And in terms of getting familiar with skills after you look over your exams, we have a video series on YouTube called the 52 ACT Math Skills because there are a lot of skills and we want you to be familiar with them. Not just what the skills are, but what they can look like on the exam. So, for example, if you're wondering what absolute value inequalities in the two-dimensional XY coordinate plane like that specific skill that's one of the skills if you're familiar if you're kind of not sure about how that works or what that means you can watch the video to see see a question example of what what that looks like as well as get a bit, a bit of a strategy in terms of how to um, you know answer the question correctly so I would recommend you watch that I will link it below hopefully or link it in a card somewhere so you can check that out and we have the same thing for English if you're trying to apply this procedure for English as well same for reading and science too but the main thing is for math uh, you need to look over that video to get familiar with skills, all right? You might notice that there's just a few that are bothering you, and if, if you did notice that, then that's great, because you can start working on those things. Try to look out for them and try to make the most, uh, you know, the, the learning process wherever you can, whenever you run into those questions on your exams. I'm talking about when you look over those questions, try to actually, like, make sure you look over them and try to understand why you might have done certain things right or wrong, all right? So that's the first thing. On top of that, you need to practice and learn from your mistakes. So I kind of already touched on this. I think I've probably should have saved this for this step. I already touched on it in the last one, but you need to keep practicing, right? So make sure that you use your practice exam resources. I've mentioned the video that goes over those skills and we have practice exams linked below for free. There are six exams. What you need to do with those exams and go is, is go through them and kind of repeat this process. Um, so you take exams, then you look over them, you try to understand what you did wrong, you refer back to the videos that I mentioned, the 52 math skills videos, and you know if you need a refresher on what certain questions look like or anything like that, then you can see that there. Uh, we don't actually like, go into teaching the skills in that, in that video because it would become a very, very long video if we did. But the whole point is you are using these resources, the practice exams in that video and your review process 
in tandem together to uh, understand skills and get better and better uh, at, at answering them. And as you rack on more practice, this will get easier and easier. And that's what brings me to my next point, which is you have to repeat the process. I know I already talked about practice. I know I already talked about repeating practice, but I'm gonna add this extra step for extra, extra emphasis. You need to actually repeat this process again and again and again. Usually I recommend students, if you wanna improve very high in the ACT, regardless of what section it is, eight to 12 practice exams is a standard. I like 12, it's a good number, because you need a lot of practice, especially on math. They could throw all kinds of things at you. Let me tell you one thing about math. They will usually, out of the 52 math skills, they'll usually like to sprinkle something extra on top in those last few questions. They'll usually do this. And, and it, it's these things that they sprinkle on top, they're not really part of that 52 uh, math skills list. And I, that's again, that's not a list that I just made up or that anyone made up. That's the list that the official ACT writers actually released in like, you can see it in their prep guide, that there's, a, there's an actual list there, okay? So they have this official list and they'll still throw in extra things on the the exam those and technically like those are things that you'll usually see in like calculus or pre-calc but if you haven't taken those classes yet then you're gonna have a hard time but the solution to this problem of you know sprinkling extra things uh, on top is to just take more practice exams so you can at least see as much of that extra stuff as possible because the more you see the less there is that you haven't seen right just in general that's that logically makes sense so you want to see as much as possible all right, so practice again and again so you can see as much as possible, so you can master your timing strategy, so you can master your skills, you can just practice, get used to the questions, get used to the style of testing. A lot of the time, just by practicing, the, the exam will get easier and easier, but if you do these extra steps, like looking at the videos that I talked about, and, and you look over your mistakes, that's really gonna expedite your improvement, so you have to put in less work and hopefully get more improvement out of it. I'm gonna throw in one bonus tip as well. This is something that I actually saw on the ACT subreddit that I thought was really cool. But a strategy for remembering skills and like remembering those really hard questions that you maybe learned from and like I guess trying to keep yourself from forgetting them. One thing you should do to remember those things is like right before your actual test day, look over all of your exams one more time. And that's something that I actually recommended before on these cramming videos that we do every time there's an ACT exam. But looking over all your stuff right before the test day, um, specifically the things that you got wrong or that you kind of feel unsure about, will help you refresh those things in your mind so that you can remember those mistakes and remember not to make them, right? And especially in, when you're uh, maybe someone that's not that strong in math or you've made a lot of silly mistakes, that's something that's really gonna help you just, you know, it's a refresher again. So that's the whole point of that. So make, make that a, a point as well right before you Take, a, uh, take the actual thing on your test day, look over your stuff for English and for math. The, the same thing applies because these are both very skill heavy. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it. And uh, I'm gonna leave it at that, those three steps. So just a summary. First of all, I recommend you watch that 52 math skills video series. It's a four part series. It gets pretty long because there's a lot of skills and we try to go through some problems too. So watch that, it'll help you get familiar with skills. On top of that, take practice exams. We have six linked below for free. Um, and you'll find more content on our website as well. And the third thing is you need to uh, practice repetitively. Eight to 12 exams is generally a good mark. And the official ACT prep guide has more exams that are not on our website. So check those out. If you need any more help, any more content, any more tutoring or advice, prep strategies, anything like that, then you can head to our website. We have lots of content that students are succeeding with. We typically help students improve five to nine points on the ACT exam overall within just a few weeks, I'm not kidding, you can see proof on our website, it works. So we have a program that students find a lot of success with and we'd love to, love to work with you if you are interested in getting some tutoring or working with us, working with me one-on-one -on -one, and uh, we'll make that happen. So if you're interested, click below, we have links. Um, we're running discounts all the time too, so you can get in and our prep is cheap. We're like the TJ Maxx of ACT prep. So check us out, we'd love to work with you um, and I hope that was helpful. So we'll see you guys in the next video, peace.